There are two types of life cycles in the vascular plants, so let's take a look at what those are. One of the life cycles is called a homosporous life cycle. And the other one is called heterosporous. Homo means same. Spore means seed. So a homosporous life cycle has one type of spore. That one type of spore produces one type of gametophyte. And that one type of gametophyte produces both of the sex cells, produces both antheridia and archegonia, which are actually the containers that hold the sex cells. The antheridia are male. and the archegonia are female. So homosporous, one type of spore, one type of gametophyte, that gametophyte containing both antheridia and archegonia. Hetero means different. And spore, of course, is seed. So in this case, there are two types of spores. And those spores produce a gametophyte each, so there are two types of gametophytes. Each of those gametophytes produces either <clears throat> the male sex organs or the female sex organs. So one of the gametophytes produces antheridia, And the other one produces archegonia. So our difference is whether there's one type of spore or two types of spores, one type of gametophyte or two types of gametophytes. Let's see what that looks like when we draw out the life cycles. So here is a homosporous life cycle. And if we look down at the haploid portion, let's first of all draw a little line here to separate the haploid and diploid portions of this life cycle. So up here, we see on the top the 2N portion, so this is diploid. And on the bottom, it's haploid. So we're separating the haploid and the diploid portions of the life cycle. And if we look down on the haploid portion, we see that there is one type of gametophyte and one type of spore. That gametophyte produces both archegonia and antheridia. Archegonium gives rise to the egg. Antheridium gives rise to the sperm. So that's the one type of life cycle, the homosporous life cycle with a single type of spore. Let's look at the heterosporous life cycle. So here we have the heterosporous life cycle. And again, we can sep separate this life cycle into two parts. So above it, we have the diploid portion above the line. And below the line, we have the haploid portion. If we look now below the line, we find that there are two types of spores. 
They're given different names, microspores for the male and megaspores for the female. Big spores and little spores, essentially, and they are very different in size. The megaspore is the female, produces the female gametophyte. The microspore produces the male gametophyte. The female gametophyte produces the archegonium. The male gametophyte produces the antheridium. And that gives us our egg and our sperm. So we see in the heterosporous life cycle, <clears throat> we have two types of spores, two types of gametophytes, and each of those gametophytes will produce either the female or the male sex organs. So that's the difference between our different types of life cycles that we find in the vascular plants.